Hello folks, it's Jamil Swift for Construct Reviews. I'm here in Scottsdale, Arizona at the C2 Tactical Indoor Range. A couple of days ago, we uh, showed you how to um, change, do a caliber change in a SIG P226 from 40 Smith & Wesson to 9mm. There were two choices that I gave you. One was to get a complete upper receiver, like on this one. This is a 40 that was converted to 9 with a factory upper from Six Hour, a caliber exchange kit that comes with a complete upper and a magazine. And the other one, we decided just to change the recoil spring and the barrel and the magazine by using a 9mm barrel on the 40 Smith & Wesson slide, which is this one here. The, um, there's some people who say that it's not possible. I have tested it and it works. So I'm going to show you today both and show you that they both work by doing a mag dump with each. 15 rounds, 15 rounds. The ammo we'll be using is uh, CCI Blazer brass ammunition, which is really good quality ammunition. And we'll do two mag dumps. The only negative thing, and I'm going to be upfront with you, is that your extractor tension on the 40 slide on the 9mm case is going to be less than the 9mm slide on 9mm ammo. But it does work, it does eject and feed properly. So I guess I'm going to shoot the 40, I mean the 9mm slide upper on the 40 frame first, and then we'll go ahead and shoot the other one. Let's go. Eye protection, always check your eyes here in protection, and let's go do it. Okay, I'm gonna do this one first. Nine millimeter upper on a 40 frame. Okay, 15 rounds, work flawlessly. Now, if you notice, we're doing this unedited, so you're getting raw footage. Nothing is going to change. 40 Smith & Wesson slide with a 9mm barrel and a 15-pound recoil spring, 9mm magazine. I had a little trigger freezing there, but it wasn't the gun's fault. It was this guy's fault. So, as you see, they both work. They work worth, both work flawlessly. One is going to cost you almost $400. And one, you can go to uh, eBay or one of the this shopping places and get a used barrel and buy a brand new recoil spring and you're set to go. So, if you know, there's also aftermarket barrels by some of the manufacturers. So I think this is a very inexpensive way of you taking like a police trade-in 40 Smith & Wesson SIG P226 in 40 and turning it to a less expensive 9mm, also less recoil. So stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.